everyone. Just doing a quick video on how to use TT Rockstars as a tutor. So I had it when I was a full time teacher in school and all the children in my class used to use it. I thought there was only a school subscription, but now you can log in and sign up as a tutor and your tutees can can use it. You can also get access to their school account and have it come across so you can see all of their points already. So let's have a look at how to use it. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you TT Rockstars. So TT Rockstars is all about being a Times Tables or a Rockstar. So when you click login, if you go to the TTRS website, you click tutor and then the tutor again, your students would click tutee when they want to log in. Then you can go to the users section and you can add as many users as you want that then you need to purchase more. So you can have up to three for free and then you'll need to purchase more. So if I click add QT and I'm going to call this one L F and I'm just going to put their initials in and you can click male, female, non-binary or not set and you can make a pin. They make a pin number according to the animals. So it's really easy for the children to log in. If you've got a child that might be dyslexic or have dyscalculia or any other kind of um, uh, special need, you can ask for things like huge font, lexi font, you can declutter the screen. So if you've got a child that's got ADHD, it makes it much easier for them. You can also have a colorblind theme. So if you've really thought about children with special needs and how they can make it really accessible for everyone. If you've got a child with autism that might really struggle with the time, you can hide the practice clock or keep it on. Also, for those that struggle with knowing what their score is, you can actually hide their scoring. And then there's also, you can take the music off. So if I find that distracting and stressful, you can also do that. So I might enable the music to be on because I know they can cope with it and I know they'll cope with sound effects. And then that's done. Um, so you need to put in their year groups. I'm going to say their year two and you can give them a username. I'm going to go with their initials LF and then click save. There you go. And then they come up and it will also tell you what their pin number is. So if they've forgotten, you can <clears throat> uh, find it there for them. Then you can click on each one and you can have a look at how much they've been playing. You can see their tables <clears throat> and you'll be able to see what they've been up to. Obviously, this child hasn't done anything yet. You can set them some goals. So you can set a practice goal in the garage. You click on that and it'll show you how. And then if you click it, that is enabled now. So then I could click on, let's go to December. And I want them to practice for 10 minutes every day in December and click save. If you go on to edit, you can change their personal info, go back to those accessibility options and also their game options, okay, because that might really help them. Then if you go on to settings, there's um, a few couple of bits there about avatars. You have got to watch they're not just going and playing on with their avatar, they are actually playing the game, but you'll be able to see that in their stats or not. You can actually play yourself, and then there's lots of different modes that the children can go on. So you've got gig, which is 100 questions in one go, Jamming, they get to choose. So if you want them to focus on specific times tables, it's jamming that you want them to go in. Studio does all the way from 12 to 12. Now, lots of the children will end up on studio. So you need to make sure that they know that it's going to be all of the times tables. They might struggle that, with that to start with, and you can actually set it so they can only have uh, certain times tables that come up. Um, and then sound check, there's a 25 question and you get six, sec six seconds per question. All the time when they're doing any of these games, they're earning um, coins and then they can go and spend them in the reward shop, which I'll have a look at. So if we go on to jamming, we can have a look at 10 questions, 20 questions or 30 questions. They could be multiplication only, which is the easiest option multiplication and division, or if you wanted to practice the division, you go onto there and you can select the ones you want. So if they're in year one and two, they might be looking at the twos, fives and tens, and then you click play and there you go. All they have to do is click in the answer and there we go. And it will tell them how many coins they have and they can go back at any time. 
the reward shop, <clears throat> they can then spend their coins and get more things for um, themselves so they can actually reward themselves. <clears throat> they will also have um, be able to go on to the shop this way. And that's when they can get the things that are not uh, money related. These are ones where they've earned their coins. Sorry, this reward shop here is for where they um, can spend their money. Um, you'll need to tell the parents about that. Um, and if they want to use their money, they can. But in terms of the uh, game money, this is where they can start to see, oh, I really want this background. Um, I want to change my avatar. I want all these different things. You can see they can get lots of really cool things, but they need to be playing every day in order to get the coins. So that's the effective um, tour of TT Rockstars. And I found, at first, when I very first started using it in school, um, I thought I wasn't really sure uh, how beneficial it was, to be honest. And those that I saw playing for 10 minutes every single day, their times tables knowledge just absolutely skyrocketed. It was massively helpful for the classroom. Times tables are so important, so important for your students. It will unlock a whole other level of maths for them that they didn't even know was there. It will really help increase their confidence. And here at Jolly Foxes, we're all about increasing children's confidence. And one of the ways they could do that is through knowing their times tables really, really well. They love online games, they're fun, they can get rewarded from it, and you can use it as a tutor, which is really, really awesome, which you weren't able to do before. So that's really exciting. Um, enjoy it. If you need any further support, there's lots of support for TT Rockstars on there, so just go and ask them, but it's a really useful tool. I'm now getting all of my students to sign up to it, and I'm actually giving them a separate account with me than they have from school, because actually it's less pressure, and then we can, do it together um, and they're really enjoying it so get onto TT Rockstars give it a go it's a brilliant tool even if you just got them to do it for five minutes at the beginning of every lesson thanks so much guys bye